Welcome to Royal Secrets. Archie's room caught fire during the royal tour of South Africa, according to Meghan Markle. But before we continue please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. During the Sussexes tour of South Africa in 2019, Meghan Markle disclosed that her son Archie nearly escaped a fire in his bedroom where he was meant to be sleeping. In the opening episode of her Archetypes podcast on Spotify, the Duchess of Sussex shared the tale with her close friend and tennis legend Serena Williams. Meghan claimed that Archie's then nanny, Lauren, a Zimbabwean who enjoyed tying the infant to her back with a mud cloth, had taken the four-and-a-half-month-old with her downstairs to buy a snack when a heater in Archie's nursery caught fire. She said that the heater in the nursery caught fire in the time it took for her to go downstairs. No smoke detector was present. Someone entered after smelling smoke down the corridor and put out the fire. He was meant to be resting there. The former suit star described how they dropped Archie off at the housing complex they were staying in right away after coming on their official tour so he could get some rest. While this was going on, Meghan and the Duke of Sussex traveled to Cape Town's Nyanga Township, where the Duchess gave a speech. When I was giving my address to women and girls, while perched on a tree stump, she said, there was this point, when we finished the engagement, got in the car, and they said there had been a fire at the property. What? The baby's room has caught fire. We returned. Naturally, as a mother, you think, oh, my God, what? Everyone is in tears and is distraught. And what must we accomplish, do another official engagement while you're out? This doesn't make any sense, I declared. The Duchess spoke of her desire to inform the public of what had transpired and emphasized the importance of increasing awareness of the human moments behind the scenes. Can you just tell the people what happened? I asked. And a lot of the time, I believe, the emphasis ends up being on how it appears rather than how it feels, she remarked. The Sussexes also conducted an impromptu walkabout. Later that day, the couple had visited Cape Town's historic District 6 neighborhood, where they had interacted with locals and heard from those who had been forcibly relocated to a township during the apartheid era at the homecoming center. Just months before they stepped down from their positions as senior working royals, Meghan and Harry underwent a contentious tour of Africa in the fall of 2019. Serena Williams and Meghan discussed the unfair treatment that women get when they are deemed to be ambitious in their conversation, titled The Misconception of Ambition with Serena Williams. Williams also says Harry talked with her for around an hour about her decision to stop playing tennis before it was officially publicized. Meghan tells Williams, I think, you know, I think two of us, or the three of us, really recognize that sometimes the right decision isn't the simplest decision after leaving the monarchy with the Queen's grandson to start a new life in California. Mariah Carey will be featured on Meghan's upcoming Archetypes podcast, which is a component of the Sussex's massive Spotify deal. It's not a right, that. Meghan is charged by Dan Wooten with being in it for herself. Meghan Markle has drawn criticism for her arrogant attitude on remarks she made about being forced to perform royal duties following her son's terrifying near miss. Meghan Markle recounted how her baby Archie almost escaped a fire in a nursery in South Africa while on a royal trip in the long-awaited inaugural episode of her new Spotify podcast. The Duchess of Sussex claimed during a conversation with tennis player Serena Williams that she was forced to continue with her royal duties despite the upsetting incident. On The Meghan Kelly Show, Dan Wooten slammed Meghan Markle for her conceited attitude. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for up.